Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another episode here in Stardew Valley Expanded with me, Tianic. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, happy Monday. Today it is the 26th day of winter. We have Clint's birthday today, Sophia's birthday tomorrow, and then it'll be the last day of winter. And I am still hoping, I don't know how we're going to go, but I'm hoping to get through all three days in today's episode. So get yourself a nice hot cup of tea, bundle up bundle in, you know, get comfy because we could be here a little while. Uh, so very happy spirits today going to the desert. Yes, we are. All right. Let's go ahead and prepare ourselves for a trip to the desert. If that is indeed the spirits mood today. So we won't need those. We won't really need that. Uh, we will need our energy tonic. Why not? We'll need a farm warp totem. We'll need a desert warp totem. We'll take the spicy eel and the survival burger. Yes, we will. And then we probably should see what else we can cook. Uh, so let's see. We can get some glazed yams. Can we do some roots platters? Uh, yes, we can. So let's do three of those. Okay, that should be plenty of food. I'm just going to run around, of course, take care of the animals. Oh, check the mail. Uh, thanks, Marnie. She's always sending us extra feed. I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's go and take care of the animals. So first of all, we'll pat the doggo and fill his water bowl. And then we'll run down to the barn and the coop. Come, bullseye. Make me go slightly faster than I would without you. Brilliant. Um, and yeah, we'll try to get over there as quickly as we possibly can and try our luck today. Uh, with... Oh, that's interesting that this egg maker's going. I mean, mayo maker. Huh, very interesting. Uh, but yeah, we'll try our luck with, uh... With that today and see how we go. Uh, I'm just gonna put those away in there. Okay. Gumbleseye! <laughs> it's so not worth it really, but that's okay. Alright, thank you all by the way for the tips in the last video. Um, I do actually have a list of uh, improvements that I want to make to the kitchen garden. I will have a list of like other foods that I want to add into the kitchen garden and I will actually probably take a look at that. I'm pretty sure some of them I get from the desert, so I'll have to make sure I've got the uh, I've got that sort of in mind as I go to the desert today. Okay, cool. So I think we shear this sheep, <laughs> even though he ran away from me, that still worked. And then we can go. So let's go ahead, just while it's paused, let me, oh, that's right. No, I wrote them on a, I, I wrote them on my actual like computer notepad instead of my physical notepad. So yeah, kitchen garden add-ons, corns, melons, rhubarb, cranberries, potatoes, and parsnips. So I'm pretty sure rhubarb we potentially get from Sandy in the desert. So uh, we will have to make sure to go ahead and pop in and see her, take her flower, and uh, buy some rhubarb seeds off her. But yeah, thank you all so much for those suggestions. I will definitely take those on board and use them and it'll be great. Uh, so yeah, just final empty out of our inventory. Gosh, it's almost already 9am already. <laughs> so we haven't really managed to save that much time this morning with all just my running around and doing stuff, but that's okay. Uh, we also need to take our bombs. Oh, wait up. So yeah, uh, mega bomb, cherry bombs. Do we have any regular bombs? We do not. We could probably also make some, and we could also probably make some, uh, oh yeah, and I want to take these. Uh, we could also probably make some staircases today, just to speed up our progress through the mines. If we're having like a good run, and uh, it looks like, for example, like we actually have a shot at getting close to making it down to level 100, then it'd probably be a good thing to have our bombs with us. Uh, sorry, our staircases with us to just uh, go ahead and use that. Okay, but let's warp. Save ourselves 500 gold and a little bit of time. And uh, here we are. Now, unfortunately, we have to do have to go up and see Sandy. So let's just do that. Take a little bit of time out, but that's okay. Hi, lovey. You wouldn't have much luck farming out here, honey. 
Well, unless you're a cactus farmer. <laughs> True. Have a sunflower, my love. This looks wonderful. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, rhubarb seeds. So let's get eight of these. And we're going to add those to our kitchen garden. Brilliant. Okay, so now I've got those. We can jump into the skull cavern. Um, oh, do I want to actually check if there's anything that you would like to... I mean, we could buy a couple more of those. Probably a good idea. I mean, I don't necessarily feel the need to save up for those turbans. So maybe we'll just trade these in for some artifact troves. And then one more desert warp totem. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. Okay, now let's head down to the actual skull cavern. <laughs> and just really quickly, I'm just going to reorganize my in Oh, I forgot to put my watering can away. That's all right. Just going to reorganize my inventory here. So I'm going to have all my food lined up. And then my bombs. The warp totem can go right at the end. And yeah, that should about do it. Our inventory is a little more full than I would like it to be starting a skull cavern run, but I mean we'll use these we'll use these things up. <laughs> the food will definitely use up quickly. Alright, here we are, and I see a way down immediately. Okay, let's just bash the slimes out of the way and down we go. Oh, there's a ghosty. Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, let's set off a cherry bomb to take that guy out. So yeah, I'm definitely interested to see how much luck we do actually get today, with it being the spirits are in good humour and everything. Um, so far, so good. Ah, oh, you got me. Okay. I mean, this is nice. We've got rubies, we've got iron, we've got diamond right here as well. Let's set off a bomb and try to run out of its blast radius. Okay, we do have a ladder there that we could come back to. But I wouldn't mind just coming around and getting some of these goodies. Of course, I didn't see you there. Drop me a bomb, dude. Uh, we could set off another bomb here just in case there's a hole in the ground. No, unlucky. I was hopeful, but that's alright. Alright, well let's just go back over to where our staircase is. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'm out of there. Okay, let's set off a little cherry bomb. Okay, getting lots of iron ore, which is good, because we can craft more bombs with it. Okay, let's see what else we got around here. 10,000 slimes, my lord. Ow. Nasty. Ow, you got me twice? What am I doing? Let's eat a spicy eel. There's a lot of enemies on this floor. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, now I've got an infested area. Are you serious? Okay, let's see how long it takes us to clear this. We haven't gotten in anywhere. We're only on level 5, which really sucks. Definitely not the start to the skull cavern that I was wanting today. Oh, iridium bar. All right, I'll take that. My inventory is full. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, nuts. Uh, let's drop the slime and the sap. We don't need those. What is that? A lucky ring. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh, my doggy wants to come back in. I kicked the dogs out because they once again decided that uh, start recording time was playtime. But I was like, not today, you two. So I kicked him out. Now, of course, poor Ruby wants to come back in. Oh, a secret note. Oh, we got to pick that up real quick. Wait up. Um, so that one we can read. And that'll... Lani and Jazz. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I was going to say that'll... Uh-oh. Clear out a uh, clear it out of our inventory. I am not doing well right here. Let's just uh, eat a roots platter. <laughs> I had the wrong inventory line like uh, equipped. If that makes sense. So I was trying to press number two to get my uh, to get my sword up, but number two wasn't my sword. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess like so far we just haven't got any of those lucky holes in the ground and that's really making a difference to the speed of our process. 
But we won't give up yet. If I see any good spots to set off a bomb, obviously I'll do that. But at the moment all the rocks are pretty spread out, so it doesn't really feel worth it. Look at all these little buggies. Oh gosh. Okay, there's a way down. Oh, another infested area? Are you serious? What is this for good luck? Okay, there's only like three enemies in here. What the heck? That was just weird. That. Okay, I was gonna say I might have put that bomb down too far away from the the mummy to actually get him. Oh, my health isn't looking good either. I am being a little careless today, <laughs> for sure, with my health. Uh, let's have a survival burger, especially because that'll clear out that inventory slot. And let's actually, yeah, let's take a pause and let's just craft uh, three staircases. Ooh, a miner's treat. That's a nice one. Let's see what I can drop so I can pick that up. <laughs> There's not much. Um, uh, let's drop the wood. Okay, there we go. And then the miner's treat I'm going to put up there. Because that's, that's a nice uh, piece of food. Okay, there is treasure in here. It's 3.40 p.m. and we're only on level 11, so we're definitely not getting down to level 100 today. Just gonna call that now. It's something that's just not gonna happen. Well, that's a dwarf scroll. We might actually need that, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick that up. No, we've already given that one to the thing, so that's fine. Okay, a little bit of treasure. Whoops, almost used my farm warp totem accidentally. I'm a little frustrated with the skull cabin, but I'm not that desperate to leave yet. <laughs> oh, we can't pick up the amethyst? Really? Let's drop that. Okay, you, Mr. Mummy, come here. Come this way. Come on, game. Oh, I can't pick up the coal? No, I want to be able to pick up the coal. Because with that, we can make more bombs. Another farm warp totem. The skull cabin today be like, just go home. Just give up. It's not happening for you today, love. Oh, my health. Alright, we'll eat the miner's treat. Oh, that didn't even give me that much health. What was that about? Okay, well, I feel like this has been one of the lamest Skull Cabin runs I have ever done. And I've just noticed that it's Friday night. So I think we're going to leave. I think we actually are going to yeet out of here. We're going to head down to the pub in Stardew because it's going to be way more fun than hanging out here, wasting our time anymore. Yeah, that was a really, really disappointing day. Uh, I've, I've got to admit, that was <laughs> definitely not what I was hoping for. We did get a lot of loot in terms of like this kind of stuff, but it was still just not not a great day skull cabin uh, looting wise so yeah a little bit disappointed by that but i mean what can you do so what we're going to do instead is just quickly kind of sell all of those um we'll deal with everything else in a bit now i'm just going to grab bullseye oops that's okay well fine uh jump on bullseye and then we're going to head over to where we've got grandpa's shed because that's where we've got all of our beer. It is already 7 p.m. So I think it was Clint's birthday today, wasn't it? So we can go down to the pub, give him a beer, and uh, he will love us. And we'll also hand out beers to everybody else who wants the beer and just work on our towny 
uh, friendships and relationships that little bit extra, which is probably going to be more worth it than just bumming around in Skull Cabin for another half hour and then going home. So yeah, let's head down. Bullseye got stuck. <laughs> Hello, that's Penny. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in a tent up in the mountains. Yes. I am. He's actually one of my very best friends. Oh, hello. It's you. Depressing, huh? Very. Have a... Yay! Have a birthday beer. Before you even get to the tavern. That's how on a ball I am today. Uh, but yeah, let's head in here. Ah, oh, look how many people are here. Excellent. So let's just go around and, of course, uh, just speak to everybody. Let's, uh, you will make a groundbreaking discovery one day. Uh, we won't be able to talk to Marnie because she's distracted. <laughs> it's your banana freezing today. Stay warm, farmer. Yes. Uh, I only really come down on Friday nights, to be honest. Uh, mm, aww. We've just been invited over to Leah's cabin to snuggle and drink cider on cold winter's night, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> Uh, say hi to Gus, say hi to M. Say hi to Shane. You're in the you're in the tavern, dude. Uh, special lot of my painting supplies from the Fern Islands. They're expensive, but it's important to have high quality tools. Yes it is. Oh dear. We can't get through there, so let's go back around. <laughs> say hi to Sophia. Yay! Oh, and I've been forgetting to actually hand out my beers here. Whoopsie. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's give out my beers. There you go. I'll take this for now. Oh, he didn't actually like that. Sorry, dude. Thanks, this is great. You're welcome. There you go. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Making good friends with everybody. Are we best friends with Pam yet? Let's see. Oh, we're close. Let's give her a beer. There you go. Now, I know you don't want a beer. Uh, hi. Okay, cool. Good chat. Uh, you two are dancing, so I can't talk to you right now. Oh, hello. I wonder what I should pick up at Pierre's during my next trip. I'm thinking spaghetti ingredients. Do you ever make spaghetti? It's delicious. I'll split share my recipe for sauce with you sometime. Please do. And also, before you run off, you two, hello. Blah, 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 blah. Just skipping through everybody's uh, chats today because they're the same as they always are. And, uh... We've read them before. There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, just wanting to have a chat with everybody. Just make our friends. And uh, let's just get a Joja for Sam. There you go. And for Sebi, let's really, really quickly buy him a coffee before he runs out of here as well. Because I can't resist buying a gift for Sebastian. There you go. I know you like that. I also love your turtleneck. Something about a man in a turtleneck. Mm, yes. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I think that was <laughs> I think that was a much more productive way to spend our Friday evening than bumming around the skull cabin. So, albacore. Bring us an albacore. When, where, when, where, and how do we catch albacore? Are they like a wintertime night fish or something like that? Uh, we do have a little time. We could potentially go fishing. Um, I don't really remember, to be honest where they come from. Although, now nah, let's just take care of it tomorrow. We'll just take care of that tomorrow and tonight we will really quickly, before we go to bed, I know it looks like I'm about to go to bed, but I'm actually not. Before we go to bed tonight, what we're going to do is uh, run over and plant our rhubarb and some more of the things that I want to put into the the thing with the stuff. You guys know what I mean? Yeah. That. <laughs> Doing well with my words today. The kitchen garden okay so yeah we're gonna add in uh corn melons rhubarb which we've got the seeds for cranberries potatoes and parsnips okay so uh wait, what has happened to my mouse hello there we are so corn let's grab four of those that should be enough to get seeds we've got one melon in here i wonder if we have more melons out in a chest somewhere i'll check on that um cranberries cranberries are all currently being turned into jam so i'll have to go down and get them from there potatoes um and parsnips parsnips i've got a couple of okay so let's grab all of these 
Actually, you know what? It is pretty late. Maybe we'll take care of this tomorrow, but that's okay. I, what I'll do is I'll run all this over there and uh, pop it all in the seed making chest. So then when we go down to take care of it tomorrow, uh, all of our seeds will be ready. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, but let me just quickly run down to the cave and get parsnip. I mean, not parsnips, cranberries. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, we've got some things in here. Cool, a pomegranate and a wild plum. Nice. Uh, those are blackberries. Cranberries, yeah. I thought I had cranberries in here. Um, so yeah, let's just run up to Grandpa's shed. Which is up this way somewhere. Oh lord, am I going to be able to... I can get through here. Yes, and our tea saplings, I am told, will slowly grow, but they're dormant in winter. So that's okay, because winter's almost over. Um, so yeah, let's, let's head up here. Hi, little garden. We're going to need some more sprinklers as well, so... I'll have to remember to bring the sprinklers. Uh, yeah. So we're going to turn all of those into seeds. Um, cool. Alright. Then we'll come back in the morning and we'll actually get all of that planted. Alright, so just headed to bed and we made 9,983 gold today. A lot of that came from the gems that we did get from the Skull Cavern. So at least we made a cool 7,000 gold off of our <laughs> trip to the Skull Cavern. At least it was good for something, I guess. Now today is Sophia's birthday. So I know that without having to check the calendar because I just love her and I want to be best friends. So I'm going to have to give her something for her birthday. I think I'm going to make her a cake. Um, who doesn't like chocolate cake? Am I right? I think I'm right. So yeah, I'm going to give her a, a chocolate cake for her birthday. Hopefully she's into it. Uh, it's going to snow again tomorrow. Okay. Um, somewhat annoyed spirits today. That's okay. Cause I don't want to go to the skull cabin anyway. Um, Hey, I want to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Autumn's bounty. Thank you so much, Demetrius. Let's also, while I'm thinking it, just grab out my iridium rod. So, I don't happen to have an albacore in here, do I? Probably not. I have a feeling albacore is like a nighttime... That's a walleye, isn't it? Yeah, like a nighttime winter fish. I think that's what it is. So, um... Or it might be just... It might be a daytime river fish. But it's like definitely winter. So I don't know, we'll, I'll see if I can uh, look it up in the library or something, or I might just look it up on the wiki, <laughs> don't judge me, uh, and just, yeah, get an idea of what that's, what that's all about. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and pop all of those in there to be made into the mayonnaise. And we'll come in and say good morning to all the barn animals. Who still haven't me given me any babies. Come on, aren't you guys happy? Don't you guys want to give me babies? I'd like some babies. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're all like five hearts fully happy. Maybe apart from the pigs. Yeah, the pigs, not as happy. Because they don't get to go outside and, and nose around yet. But they will very soon. And then they should be happy again. Alright, so let's go over to Grandpa's shed. And, oh, no, wait, nope. I need to make sprinklers first. I'm on the ball. Okay, so I think we're going to be making, like, quite a few more sprinklers, actually. Ooh, a rusty spur. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly how many how I need. How many how I need. That was a good sentence. How many I need. Oh, we haven't uh, turned that into the museum yet. Sweet. Uh, but let's see. So what's the... What's the recipe for quality sprinklers? Gold, iron, and refined quartz. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? Might as well make six. Let's just have a bunch. If we have extra, then we have extra. Not a big deal. Uh, let's also just go down and check on our other greenhouse. And just see how it's going. <laughs> uh, I did also get a, a helpful comment saying to... Uh, keep this greenhouse down here for the more like special and rare things in the game like the ancient seeds and the star fruit and stuff like that I do like that idea and it does look like our star fruit is slowly growing and this one coffee plant looks mature as well So we should start being able to harvest coffee from that soon. So that's promising um, Our fruit trees are also looking pretty good over here, too. Actually, they're all they're all looking quite happy and healthy So That's very nice Alrighty, so yeah, let's head up into our kitchen garden greenhouse, which is coming along. And okay, so we didn't get as many melon seeds as I would have liked. We got enough potato seeds and enough corn seeds. 
Didn't get as many parsnip seeds as I was like. Plenty of cranberry seeds. Uh, the beets, we've already got planted. Okay, so yeah, we'll just have to add some extra parsnips into the seed makers to try to get some more parsnip seeds. That's okay, we can do that. <gasps> oh, whoops, I just accidentally killed a plant. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was terrible. What was it that I planted there as well? Do you know I've got no idea what these plants were? Oh, I'm so disappointed with myself. What did I do that for? Ugh. Sometimes. Oh, and I just put those cranberries in the wrong place. Okay, I actually have to like focus here and be a little more careful. Unbelievable. Oh no, are you kidding? <laughs> so this area doesn't actually lend itself as nicely as I was hoping to having uh, rows of these little like three by three grids. That's, that's disappointing. <laughs> that's okay though. All right, and then one more. So it turns out six extra sprinklers was the right number. There you go. Um, okay, and then the rhubarb seeds. We also need to get in here. Okay, now I just gotta water everything. Okay, so that's all taken care of. I'm really annoyed at myself for this. And I'm really annoyed that I don't remember which plants those were. Were they the beets? Or the tomatoes? Or the pumpkins? I don't know. I don't know what I had planted there and I'm really mad at myself for accidentally breaking that plant. But it's already 1pm on a Saturday so we gotta get going. Um, because I want to... Want to go and see Sophia and I want to go to the museum and the library. So let's, let's get going. Let's get moving. Got an arrowhead as well. Hi Pam. Cute umbrella. Or is that your hat? I can't tell. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go to town and, oh wait, do I want to give anything to Clint? Probably not at this stage, to be honest. Wow, everybody's at the library today. Hey, hey everyone. All right, so we can donate this rusty spur, which apparently we get a new reward for. Cool. What do we get? Three triple shot espressos. <laughs> I will take that. All right, so. Well, that's all about, that's more about the legendary fish. Hi, Elliot, how are you? Cool, good for you. Okay, I feel like this is taking way too long trying to find a book about the, uh, <laughs> Aww. So yeah, Victor was just talking about how she doesn't get along very well with his mother. Let's just, I'm just really quickly just gonna, um... Uh, it's an ocean fish found in fall and winter in early morning and at night. Uh, they also randomly appear in Krobus's shop on Wednesdays. Okay, well, it's not Wednesday, so yeah, it is a nighttime fish, but it's in the ocean. Okay, good to know. Let's go ahead and see now if we can find Sophia. Um, I guess we'll run. I would rather have bullseye, but we'll, yeah, we'll see if we can find her. Um, hopefully she's just at home. Um, no, I don't care about either of those things. And we'll go, we'll go via the beach in case there's some good loot down here. Looking forward to it being spring again, so that on rainy days the, uh, the old mariner will appear and have the, uh, marriage amulet. But before that, we do have to go ahead and give uh, Victor some flowers. So that's something we might do tomorrow. Uh, you can see here that we are actually at eight hearts with Victor right now. So we're at the maximum level we can get to unless we give him some flowers and say we really like you and we want to be your girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> and I think the final day of winter would be a good day to do that uh, because the first day of spring would be the ultimate day to do that, but we're going to be too busy getting our farm ready. So, yeah. Right, is she here? I realized when I was editing the last episode, she was like standing over there at one point and I missed it like an idiot. Ah, she's in here reading a book. Hey, Sophia. I ran out of snacks. Must get more. Do you have any on you? Yes. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Yay. And we got the achievement popular. Nice. So now, looks like we have a lot more hearts with Sophia than we did before. Yes. <laughs> Winning. Oh, I just realized I could have had an espresso, which would have made me run faster. Uh, let's have one now. Glug, 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 glug. Whee! 
This is why I want to get the coffee crops happening, because <laughs> running fast is fun. Uh, okay, let's do a little foraging while we're down here. We may as well. And actually, I'm curious, in the sewers, can we get in through here? We can. Have I been up here yet? Ooh, there's some kind of force field blocking your path. Okay, well, that's all right. Let's say hi to Krobus since we're here. On Fridays, I stay silent as a sign of devotion to Yoba. Cool. You're selling pizza. Nice. Boyd egg. Yeah, okay, we don't really need any of that. That's fine. So yeah, we can't get through there yet. That's something that happens later, I guess. Uh, ooh, 5 p.m. already. Okay, well, let's uh, just get home. We'll empty out our inventory. Then we'll head down back down to the beach. And we will take the horse. Uh, so we can fish for this albacore that we've got to drop into whoever that was. All right, here we go. So we are down at the ocean. It's nighttime. It is snowing. I hope that doesn't make a difference to our chances of catching an albacore. Uh, we got seaweed. Woohoo. I really am not a fan of, like, the snow pixels on the water. It's, like, a lot of movement. <laughs> a lot of moving pixels. It kind of makes my eyes spin a little bit, but... I'll try to just deal with it. We got a halibut. That fish was a little tricky, but we got it, and it's a squid. Cool. If we don't catch an albacore today, we'll have to try coming back down tomorrow morning to get one, I guess. I don't know what um, difficulty level an albacore is either. Like, I don't know if it's going to be a really easy fish or a really difficult fish. That's a herring. That's a fairly easy fish. Oh, yeah. I just can't look at my screen right now because the snow. <laughs> the snow on the water is like, whoa. Let me know in the comments. Does that bother you guys as well? Or, like, uh, is there anyone else out there who... Sometimes has trouble with like motion on motion on motion like I do, or am I just weird? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's another freaking squid. <laughs> I was like, why is this so hard? That was too much. Okay, we're not catching any albacore here, so I'm going to move slightly. I don't think it makes any difference at all, but, you know, it makes me feel better. And now we're in the light. Oh, Joja Cola. Wonderful. We'll give that to Sam when we see him next. Yeah, I fished it up from the ocean. I'm sure it's still fresh and tasty. I don't know. Like, if you guys uh, fished out a can of Coke from the ocean, would you drink it? <laughs> or would you give it to a friend? Or would you be like, nah. <laughs> Hmm, I am wondering if the uh, the presence of the snow, like the fact that it's raining, is uh, meaning we're not getting this albacore that we're fishing for. We've been, we've been at this for a while now and still no luck. We've caught quite a few fish, so I don't know. Doesn't actually say anything on the wiki about, like, what weather it prefers. It just says, found in the ocean during fall and winter, in the early morning and at night. Aha! We got one. Alright, let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> maybe it had to be like past a certain time. Maybe it wasn't late enough for the albacore yet. Or maybe they're just rare. I don't know. But okay. Not worried anymore. We got the fish. Excellente. That's another perfect catch. Another halibut. Let's do one more and then we'll call it a night on the fishing. Okay, that's not a fish. So one more fish, please. And then we'll call it a night on the fishing. Uh, head home, sell off our fish, and get to bed. All right, well, we only caught one albacore, but one was all we needed. So, oh, that was Bullseye. <laughs> I didn't see him. He was, like, blending in with the, uh, <laughs> with the thingamadoodad. The, what's it called? The pier. All right, but, yeah, let's, let's go home, clear out our inventory, 
And then tomorrow our to-do list is going to be quite uh, intense. So what we're going to be doing tomorrow is we're going to be trying to sort of lay out our farm ready for spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be hoeing soil. I'm going to be laying out sprinklers. I'm going to be working out where exactly I want to grow all of our spring crops because that's just going to save us a lot of time uh, on the actual first day of spring when we need to go to the store, we need to get the seeds, we need to plant all the seeds, water all the seeds. Like it's a lot of work the first day of one of a new season here in Stardew Valley. So I figure if I can save myself a little bit of time and effort by um, taking care of some of it before the actual day, that is going to be worth it. Oh, we don't have any room in here. Oh gosh. I really do need to go ahead and get that second fridge soon <laughs> so I can keep all of the... Uh, can we actually put that trap bobber on our fishing rod? Yeah, so I can keep a bunch of fish in a fridge that we, we can use in cooking. And that would make my life a lot easier. I should do that. Uh -huh. uh, the Joja Cola can just... I don't know. I can just go in there, whatever. Okay, and then the seaweed goes in our fridge. And then the albacore we will hold on to because we're going to need that tomorrow. I know it's getting late. I'm heading to bed. Alright, let's go to sleep for the night. Oh, we leveled up fishing! So we got well, plus one fishing rod proficiency, new crafting recipe cork bobber, and new crafting recipe treasure hunter. Excellent. Alrighty. So we are going to go ahead and play through this last day of winter. This is very exciting for me. Last day of winter, everybody. So tomorrow is going to be spring. I'm so, so excited. Oh, yeah, I was talking about our to-do list. Um, so the other thing we have to do today is, as I mentioned before, I want to go to the shops and I want to get the flowers so we can give them to Victor and be like, this year you want to get married? <laughs> um, yeah, so weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be a clear and sunny day. Fortune teller, we have good humor, a little extra luck. That's okay. We're going to be too busy today to go. Um... Oh, wait, that's what we could have dropped into Clint would have been an actual pickaxe. That's all right. Uh, Queen of Sauce, we have cranberry candy. Here's a fun one to help you celebrate the new year. Cranberries are quite bitter on their own, but submerge them in an ocean of sugar and that tastes like angel's tears. Here's how you do it. I mean, like you submerge most things in sugar and they're going to taste all right, but <laughs> thanks Queen of Sauce. All right. Hey puppy. So, all right, here we go. So the first thing I want to do is work out how many seeds how many crops we have to plant. Um, so we have parsnips, cauliflowers. Why do I only have 22? Oh yeah, no, that because they are laid out differently. Did I forget to buy some of the crops for spring? Or was I too poor to buy some of the crops for spring? In spring in Stardew Valley, we can go strawberries, rhubarb, potato. We've got most of this up in our kitchen garden, but we'll grow more of it. Strawberry, rhubarb, potato cauliflower, kale, green beans, garlic, parsnip, jazz flowers, and tulips. So there's eight sort of actual crops. I think that's right. Yeah, eight actual crops. Then we can also do um, rice, which we'll plant in another spot because I think that grows best when it's right next to water. We've also got two types of flowers. We've got tulips and... Uh, tulips and blue jazz and then we could also do a big patch of mixed seeds as well okay so that's we'd probably want at least nine sprinklers then i'm guessing Ooh, how much iridium do we have we've got a fair bit okay we've done well we've saved up a fair bit of iridium while we've been uh with all of our our caving throughout the winter. And that that is of course why I saved up all of the iridium. Was so I could do this. Oh wow. Okay, so we're going to be adjusting our farm layout quite substantially here. So I'm going to dig up all of these stone paths. Okay, we've also got a bunch of maple syrup here, so that's nice. So yeah, what I want to do is kind of work out roughly where we're going to put all of these crops. Um, so they're going to be planted in like eight by eight with the sprinkler, the iridium sprinkler in the middle. I think that's right. Wait, I've got to go down and check my greenhouse to make sure I'm remembering the layout for iridium sprinklers correctly. 
Hey, oh my gosh, this is exciting. <gasps> so glad that I popped into the greenhouse today. Look at this, you guys. We have our first starfruit crop. Oh my goodness, that is really nice. And we also have coffee. <laughs> Yay, finally. All right, well, I'll deal with that in a minute. Whoops, I forgot to actually check. So it's two spaces on either side of the sprinkler. Yeah, no, I, did, I was not laying that out correctly. I was thinking it was three spaces on each side of the sprinkler, but no, it's two. So the sprinkler would actually go there. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what my brain was doing. Just ignore me completely, everybody. <laughs> cool. So my aim is to have at least one large plot of all of the different types of seeds. So, yeah, so it's like five across. So if they're eating then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, we're going to end up with an awkward four on the other side, which I don't love. So what if we leave some nice gaps in between each plot? Now you might be wondering why I'm doing all of this hoeing today when half of it will probably disappear uh, overnight. Uh, but the thing is, if we water it with a sprinkler, it shouldn't disappear. Like it'll have a very low chance of disappearing. And even if half of it does disappear, it's still going to save us half of the uh, hoeing we would have to do tomorrow otherwise. Which is nice. So what? Oops. What do I think of that? That's not too bad, actually. I don't mind that. Okay, and then, so if we, in terms of coming, like, down in this direction, if we keep it consistent and have another gap of two tiles, oops, and then keep going with our farming plots, would this work out? I think it will, actually. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much perfect, because we're going to want to put a fence up along the bottom there, is my idea. So yeah, then we'd have a sprinkler there, a sprinkler there, a sprinkler, whoops, there. <laughs> That's not the right spot. And a sprinkler there. All right. And this is gonna be how we uh, lay out the crops for spring. Um, well, another thing, another patch we can have, yeah, we can have wild seeds. We can also have a mixed seeds patch. So like just whatever grows, grows. Um, or we could have the mixed seeds. We could just like uh, routinely plant those in the greenhouse and just see what pops up. That is another option. I think that was another idea that was actually in a comment. Um, I don't want to claim that idea for myself just in case it was in a comment and I'm just thinking it was my idea. My husband does that all the time. Do you guys... Um, have a husband who does that where he's like oh I think we should do this or like I think this about this and you're like that's interesting considering I literally said that exact thing to you like the other day <laughs> or is that just my husband he always says you know if I say something it has to go up into his brain rattle around a bit and then sort of come back out as his own idea <laughs> I'm always like okay sure whatever you need to make yourself feel better honey so yeah, that's kind of going to be how we lay out all of this. Um, we're going to want our scarecrows. Kind of uh, really bugs me that I can't center these properly. <laughs> but we're going to want our scarecrows just around uh, guarding our things. Oh, but you know what I did just realize is that the beans actually need to be laid out differently because they grow on a trellis. Oh, that's all right. We'll make do. We'll make do. Okay, we've also just got a random lightning rod here that I could put I don't know, like up here, I guess. Sure, why not? And yeah, okay. So I'm going to take a break from messing with the farm right now because I've got to get over to Pierre's store and get these flowers and go and see Victor. I hope it doesn't shut at four. It shuts at five, right, Pierre's? No, I don't want to eat the holly. Gross. Why do you want to eat holly? Um, and then we'll need to find Victor as well. I don't know where he is at 4.30pm on a Sunday, but hopefully we can run into him. Oh, he's standing just outside his house, ready to sow seeds soon. Yes, ma'am, I have been preparing all day. Alright, hi! So I want to buy something very special. I would like this. Please and thank you. Ooh, now it would also be worth getting a couple more saplings to start growing. Um, 
In particular, the ones for the summer. I think I have room for another two of each. Yeah, so let's get those as well. Just while we're here. Uh, let's not accidentally give the flowers to the wrong character. <laughs> I finished planning weeks ago. Now just need to wait for the snow and ice to thaw. Won't be long now. Yeah, me too. Hi, Victor! Winter is almost over. Can't wait to spend more time outside and enjoy the weather. How would you like to spend your time outside going on romantic dates? Okay, it's really freaking me out that she's right there. With me! Ah, look! He's blushing and he says, I'll accept this. Thank you! I didn't know you felt the same. Oh, I totally do. I totally do. Much love, but I'm going to let you go about the rest of your day because I need to get home because I'm really busy. <laughs> that was really cute though. <laughs> Yay. So we've uh, improved our relationship with Victor, which is wonderful. We are now ready to get up to 10 hearts uh, when we can. Now, because... Yeah, we were actually we're actually out of wheat to turn into beer at the moment. But look, we've got a harvest here ready to go. Amazing. Thank you so much. And I'm pretty sure I have plenty more. Uh, I need like one more craft of that whenever you're ready. And then I was thinking of also trying our luck with turning these four normal quality star fruit into seeds as well. Pardon me. So we can replant our crop in the greenhouse rather than spending our money to buy more. So let's see how many we get out of that. Oh, we got lucky. We got an ancient seed from that star fruit. Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but that's really, really nice. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to plant that down in our special, special things greenhouse for sure. We're probably going to need to turn a few more of these star fruits into seeds, I'm guessing. Uh, so let's just quickly run down and put our some of our wheat into here. What do we got? We can put two, three, and then these other ones I'm actually going to put into our mill to be milled into flour. The other star fruit I'm of course going to turn into wine. 11, that's not bad. So we've got 13 total now. So yeah, we're going to need to do a few more because we have a we have enough room to grow 24 uh, seeds up there in the stuff, down there in the star fruit area. But we'll at least be able to turn some of these into wine. I'm probably wasting the star fruit here. Like I should probably just sell them, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Oh, and oh my gosh, my barn animals. 6.50 p.m. Oh, I hope you're not all asleep. They're probably all asleep. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Did I miss out today? <gasps> Was I too busy? Can I still milk you guys? I can still milk you guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I know cheddar doesn't produce wool. I was aiming for the sheep. Thank you, game. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry that I wasn't here in time to say a proper hello to you all today. I just got a bit carried away with all the other things I was doing. I'm sorry. Yeah, everybody's trying to sleep. I'm sorry. I do love you guys lots. I like how it says they're trying to sleep, but they're all still kind of like running around and moving. <laughs> okay, now they're all trying to sleep. Uh, that Those normal quality eggs we're going to put into the fridge. Okay. All right, let's see how many more of those star fruit seeds we've managed to get from our little dudes over here. Seed makers. I'm going to need to put some seed makers down in the other greenhouse, aren't I? Otherwise, that's just going to be annoying. Another nine to give us 22. Oh, can we get two more? I need two more star fruit seeds to get a full 24. Please. And thank you, game. And yeah, I'm really excited we got this ancient seed. And since we're hungry and waiting, let's uh, drink some maple syrup. Straight maple syrup. Yum. <laughs> that wouldn't make you feel ill at all in real life. we got to plant these saplings. Oh my gosh, we've got so much to do. I can tell this uh, farm is quickly going to get very overwhelming. Also, where do you get strawberry seeds from? Oh, 
it finished. Ah, oh, yes, we got lucky. We got one bonus one. Yeah, where do you get strawberry seeds from? Are they be available from Pierre's? Or are they available only from, like, somewhere super special? I don't know. I have a bad feeling I was supposed to get them from somewhere special. At the egg festival you can get them? Yeah. Oh, look! And we can actually move our, uh, our wine set up, finally. Because it finally finished uh, doing its thing. Okay, well... <laughs> All right, more things to add to the to-do list. So, oh lord, you know what? I have no idea which of these is which. Okay, so I had a quick Google and this one here is the apricot tree. So we're going to plant another one. Sorry, there and there. And then these guys must be the other ones. So put those there and there. And then by summer, they'll be all grown up and ready to be producing fruit for us. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure this already has uh, either quality fertilizer or speed grow on it. I'm thinking it's probably speed grow. So I'm just going to plant these straight in. As for the ancient seed, I'm just going to pop that right there. And we're going to see what we can get from that. Okay. How are we doing for time? It's 10.30 p.m. Well, I think that does give us enough time to just run back over to Grandpa's shed real quick. Been a lot of going back and forth today, for which I do apologize. Uh, but I'm thinking we can just reset up the wine barrels in here. Where am I looking? There we are. And they're going to be producing some star fruit wine for us. Amazing. And then we'll also come back down and put our grapes back in there as well. Because we probably are not going to have enough star fruit to keep those constantly running. But so we'll put the grapes in there as well. And then the grapes can supplement our wine creation. And that will be all good. So, oh my gosh, this has been a very, very long day. Let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff. Oh, I forgot to drop in the albacore to whoever wanted it. Oh, well, whatever. That's not surprising. Okay, so the wine I'm gonna keep in there because that's special. Put those away. Uh, I'm gonna put my coffee beans in there. The hay and the clay and the maple syrup and the stone paths we will mostly deal with tomorrow. The clay can go in there. Stone paths can go in there. The maple syrup can go in there. <sighs> and I think with that, we're almost ready for... Okay, the plum and the pomegranate should not be in here. We're almost ready for the start of spring. Oh my goodness. What a massive episode. <laughs> Let's head to bed. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. I'm going to try to cut this down into a manageable, watchable length. But um, yeah, when we come back, it is going to be spring so so excited i got very very sick of winter i don't know if you guys did but i certainly did uh didn't make much gold at all <laughs> on that final day of winter but that's okay so yeah next time what we'll do is of course get all of our spring crops planted and in the ground uh we'll see i'll do some research and see if there's any way for me to grab some more strawberry seeds from anywhere uh see if i can start growing them ahead of time that would be really nice but until then, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. Please, as always, leave your thoughts and suggestions and comments down below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you feel so inclined. Take care, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.